Kitchen Cadets. Welcome back to Tommy Time. Just getting started. We have a 2012 2012 Crafty 725 rear wheel drive. I worked on this one yesterday. Customer's complaint was that it would start and stall, start and stall. So we had water in the gas and jello in the bowl i cleaned that up went to start it started fine went to engage the easy walk and it would not cooperate i tried adjusting the cable and it didn't do anything i flipped it over and we discovered together the belt was off so i'm going to show you how to remove the plastic cover that covers the belt and the pulley in case you have a broken belt or the belt comes off. I'll list the model number down below. So you've got two screws here on the top of the deck. They're eight millimeter. They go something like that. You want to remove those two and then it's a nine sixteenths bolt on the underside that holds it from the bottom and I'll, I'll flip this over and show you we're going to reattach the belt <clears throat> clucky's already on the job he saw the nest that was formed in this cavity and i, I think he's really happy he may lay some eggs So once I remove the three attachment points, this um, <clears throat> adapter just slid off on its own, which is unusual for such an old machine. Usually they get rusty and they don't budge, but everything just fell down, probably with the 20 pounds of weight of this barnyard mess. It just uh, plopped down. So... We're going to put this all back together. Somehow, one way or another, we're going to get the belt around the, the drive pulley here. So, just by all the surface rust here on the pulley, it looks like this has been in op. For a bit of time. So <clears throat> let me grab a little bit of air. nest first project of the morning we had a super big rainstorm last night grounds wet but sun is still behind the tree so it's not so bad so I'm having a little motivation I got a lot of projects today people want to look at mowers so add Add 10 to that, and that mug will be accurate. Okay. <clears throat> Let me Let me remove the adapter and the belt. I'm going to go dump this in my yard waste barrel <clears throat> so i don't have to pick this thing up twice <clears throat> i pick up yard waste 
once a week on garbage day. So simple as that. I don't know if this had anything to do with the belt popping off, but it was sure a lot of weight, extra weight. So, <clears throat> put the um, belt on the adapter. What do I want to do? Maybe I'll put it on the transmission first. try to fish this on. There's a little uh, belt guard that I'm working around, a little L-shaped tab. Okay, I got it around that. <clears throat> There's actually two, so those didn't work worth the damn. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. Slipped it on. Keyway is lined up. Make sure the belt up here is between the two tabs. Okay. It's all looking good. There is some buildup on the shaft of the pulley. I want to get a needle nose and kind of get that off of there. Not that it's going to matter in the scheme of things. It's just going to hold moisture on the shaft all this grass okay <clears throat> got rid of it blast it with some air and put this thing back together okay We'll put the 9 sixteenths on first. I won't tighten it down all the way because I may have to shift the plastic to catch those two screws on top. Sorry, I, I got all my hardware over here. <coughs> Lucky I'm missing the one bolt for this. <clears throat> Let me look around. What I think I did is put it here on the, the deck, and then when I lifted it, I think it's on the grass. You guys with keen eyes. <clears throat> if not, I'm just going to plow ahead and pretend that I have it. <clears throat> and this is a screw up. That's a stinker. <clears throat> Let me put the two eight, eight millimeters on back here. <clears throat> I can turn this over any time and, and put that final one in. I'll put the screws in up here.
How you guys doing? Everyone up north shifting into snow blowers. <clears throat> and still on mowers because there's no snow in <clears throat> southwest Florida. <clears throat> so this gentleman's going to pick it up later today. I think he works 3 to 11. Because or some shift like that. So I'm just going to put the blade on. Like I said, I don't, uh, I don't see the bolt for up here. That was 9 sixteenths. But I'll find it. should probably touch this up but just for um, testing purposes I want to see if this thing engages the, the blade could use some sharpening Just getting over a cold so, or a sore throat, more or less. So I'm a little stuffy. <clears throat> Nine sixteenths on the blade nut. So this old crap, he did pretty well holding up to weekly use. Okay, Snakey's on the job and he hasn't seen the other bolt, so we got to look. I'll bring out a magnet. So it's been 24 hours since we did the carb work. Hopefully this thing starts. I'm going to start it and engage the rear wheel drive and see if we got action now. We should. I don't see anything else <clears throat> that we have overlooked. Okay. Let's pull and go. So it engaged, then I engaged it again and no action. So did the belt fall off? Why did it fall off twice? Yup, fell off the transmission side. Why? I need you guys to coach me. Put it on and <clears throat> first try it knocked it off. Okay, that's all I got. Maybe I'll have something later, but for right now, I gotta drink some old 60 year old coffee. You guys tip your waitress and wait staff. Continue to have a nice day. Adios, amigos.
Why is the belt kicking off?